To think of the blessed St. Og's cloak leaving the cathedral after 700 years. Oh, but wouldn't St. Og be pleased with being sold in aid of the clergy widows, Dean? No, no, he would not. How can you say that, Dean? Because in the 13th century, my lord, the clergy were unmarried. Oh. <laughs> I must go and see the Chancellor. You will send this to the museum, my lord. Oh, of course, of course. Dean. I couldn't bring myself to do it. Good morning to you, gentlemen. Let's have a look at this thing that's caused all the fuss. Fancy anybody wanting to pay £10,000 for this? Well, it is rather remarkable to think, my lord, that it was actually worn by St. Og himself. Well, yes, I suppose it is. It seems very well preserved. Oh, yes, isn't it, my lord? It really is. Oh, look. Oh, look. Here's a label, my lord. A label? Yes. A 13th century label. You don't often see one of those, do you? <laughs> w. Clarkson, theatrical costumers, draw it. <laughs> 